what's up y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i am super excited for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made my kids easter baskets what i put in them and all that good stuff i also included a little bit of laundry motivation and a little bit of cleaning i didn't clean too much because i am just not feeling the best i'm getting over a cold and i still sound pretty congested so you have to excuse my voice but I am using my Cricut to put Caden's name onto his Easter basket. I actually made the girls their Easter basket about two years ago and I've been using the same basket for this will be the third year now for them. But I love these baskets. I got them from Dollar Tree and they're more or less like a bucket. I don't really know what they're intended for at Dollar Tree but they're more or less a bucket than a basket. Um, and you'll see here in a bit when I put them all side by side what they look like. But I decided to go with a dinosaur for Cadence Easter basket. I put a bunny on the girls. So I picked the dinosaur because I didn't really know what else to put on his. I didn't want to put a bunny on his, but I wanted it to be something that was kind of boyish and that would last. So I picked the dinosaur and I don't have that much vinyl on hand. So I was stuck between green or red. And I picked this olive green color and I think it came out super cute. So yeah i'm going to stop talking and let you guys just enjoy me putting his name and dinosaur on and i will jump back in to show you what i put in the easter baskets So here's my big boy Kaden. He was not letting me be great this day. He was making so much noise and talking and blowing spit bubbles and he got his shirt all dirty so that's why he is shirtless looking so handsome. But yeah so here's what I got the girls for their Easter baskets. I got both of them these penny proud pajamas that were so cute from Target and I got Carmen another pair of pajamas. She got Stitch. Carmen loves Stitch. I got some bath paint for Kelsey some band-aids of course because she's the band-aid queen i got these super cute little peep bath bombs i've never seen them before but i know she's gonna love them because she loves bath time and i got a five minute under the sea stories book because we are learning how to read and she loves those kind of books a surprise egg for her um this rubble loofah i also got these uh it's one is silver one is gold these jumbo eggs, I got them from Hobby Lobby and they were half off of $2.99. I think that was a great price. I'm gonna put a $20 bill and let the girls find it outside. I found this super cute stitch egg when I went out of town for Carmen, a minion lollipop. Um, I got her some division flashcards cause she is learning basic division and basic multiplication right now. A miraculous ladybug coloring book as well as two stitch loofahs and a Marshall loofah. The stitch ones were two in a pack for three dollars and the Marshall one was I think right around two dollars at Walmart. And then Kaden got a pair of sunglasses. I got him four of these little bath time books. We love to read during bath time. So I got him four of these and um, I thought they were a great buy at the Target dollar spot. I also found this cute Pete the Cat Easter book. We love Pete the Cat in this house and I thought that was so cute that they had an Easter one. And then he got a My Friend Cody from Coco Melon because he loves Coco Melon like all babies do right now. So yeah, that's everything I got the kids for their Easter baskets. And here's a little tip if you are making your own basket at home. 
if you stuff the bottom of the basket with like paper or like tissue paper it gives the um like garland or grass whatever this stuff is called maybe it's called confetti i don't know what it's called exactly but if you stuff the bottom of the basket with paper like i did just now it gives the basket a little more height that way you can actually see the stuff in the basket and it doesn't sink down to the bottom so keep that in mind if you are making your own diy easter baskets i will never smile for you smile for you smile for you smile for you i will never cry for you cry for you cry for you cry for you i can take this anymore you say we're done but you still want more baby what love how their baskets turned out they are so cute i noticed after i finished that the r for carmen was missing so i went back on my cricut and cut her out a new r like i said i have reused these baskets for the third year now for carmen and kelsey but yeah everything came out super super cute and i am going to add a ten dollar robux card so now we're moving on to laundry. I had to do the girls laundry per usual. I washed their stuff separately, but I like to fold it all together. So just gonna get into this folding really quick and give you guys some laundry motivation. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. So I noticed the other day that my husband's cabinet underneath the sink was dirty and I realized I never lined his cabinet with drawer liners so I'm showing here I guess his mouthwash had spilled or something but I wanted to go ahead and take care of this before it caused any damage to the cabinet because cabinets are very expensive to replace so I'm trying to do whatever I can to protect and prevent any damages from happening since this is a brand new home so I am going to wipe it down and clean it up really good and then I got some easy liner from Walmart to line the cabinets with and as I was doing it I remembered that I ran out of easy liner when I first did it to my side and the girls bathroom so that's why I never got to it when we first moved in because I ran out of the roll but this cabinet gave me a pretty hard time getting it to lay flat because I did buy the adhesive kind so it took me about two or three tries to get it to lay perfectly without any bubbles but I finally got it in there and it looks so much better. Take you under, but nobody can 
sea I just wanna dance, dance, dance with you I'd have been a summer So put your hands on me Put your hands on me, on me, on me Put your hands on me, on me, on me Put your hands on me Initially, I really wanted to give this bathroom a deep clean, but I was just exhausted. I was not feeling up to it, so I ended up just cleaning off the countertops, the mirror, the toilet, and then doing the floors really quickly. I needed to just rest. I was coming down with a cold on this day, so I knew if I overdid it, I probably would be paying for it later. So remember guys, it is a marathon, not a sprint. When you're cleaning, do what you can. Listen to your body. Take breaks as needed. It is okay if your housework does not get done in one day. I'm here with you guys. If you need more cleaning motivation, I will have my playlist linked down below. And yeah, so that is it. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and leave me a comment letting me know how you found my channel or this video. I really would appreciate it as it helps my channel grow. But I will talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Closer to me, babe